Hey everyone, well, since I have been working um, recently on my displays in my collection, I thought that I would do a comparison review between two of the display companies that I have been using recently. Um, and they've been serving different point, different uh, purposes until now when I got two stands. So both of these companies offer flight stands and I, they're not a direct, direct comparison because one is obviously a small size and the other is a larger size. But I did want to show you the difference between the two because um, this is going to carry on throughout their different types of stands. Obviously, since I am not endorsed by either of these companies, I bought stands that I needed. So that is why they are uh, different sizes. Tricked Out Bricks doesn't have one that's quite this size um, without it being really, really small. And then that's not a comparison. And so this was like more if they're like higher quality ones. So anyways, I did want to give you guys a look and a direct comparison at both of these stands. So first we'll start with the packaging. So here we are with both. These are the packagings that you get if you buy with an authorized reseller or seller, I guess. Um, this doesn't come from their website, so I can't attest to how they come when they're shipped to you. But I definitely think that Tricked Out Bricks has a better um, hanging in-store display than brick shell cases. It doesn't necessarily mean that the quality is better or worse. It just is, if you're walking by on a shelf, I'm definitely going to pick up Tricked Out Bricks stands over the brick shell cases. Um, and we don't have to get into, you know, like marketing and like what's better and what's not, but definitely having a picture of what kind of ship goes on this stand as an idea helps a lot. Now, brick shell cases has a lot of ideas. This stand in small, actually, they feature with the Yoda Starfighter, which we'll show in a minute on the stand. Um, but for some reason in their printout of the small one, they don't. And it's just kind of, it looks like a computer printout and just as small. I will say one great thing for both of these companies is that they are proudly made in the U.S. USA. I think that that is wonderful and that is a really, really good thing because a lot of a Lego display solutions are made over in Europe that are acrylic, so it's really nice to have some good companies out there. So with that being said, just with some differences between the company, Tricked Out Bricks, from my understanding, has a lot more flight stands than brick shell cases and um, brick shell cases has a lot more podium and wall mounts than tricked out bricks. So they're opposite. Tricked out bricks really has a lot of flight stands. They have a couple of cases for helmets, like the Lego helmets and, and a couple of minifigure solutions, but not like brick shell cases. They really focus on the minifigures and then they all stands. And um, so, yeah, there we go. So obviously we have instructions on the back for how to build these. Inside Tricked Out Bricks, you get its own little instruction manual. And I will say there is quite a difference here. This is a small stand for $20, and this stand is $15.99. So um, definitely a price difference there. Brick, uh, brick Shell Cases, I think, is a little bit of a bigger company, and so they are charging more. Um, you could argue there's more acrylic on the stand as well. So um, let's move those aside. One thing that I do want to notice, I'll keep Tricked Out Bricks here. Um, on the left and then brick shell cases here on the right and I will say tricked out bricks I really like that it comes with like a covering on all of the plastic it's a pain in the butt to get off but it's nice that it comes protected brick shell cases comes in bubble wrap which is nice it's just kind of it's just messier of a packaging but the presentation to me just isn't quite as clean obviously there are very few similarities in terms of the type of stand, um, and I'm not really reviewing them as a direct comparison in that way, just as like different companies that you can get stands from. So Tricked Out Bricks has a base and a front, what would be considered a front, where you can put minifigures on. And then basically you can tilt this in any angle. You can turn it and then you can take off this brick here and turn it at any angle um, to get different, different settings for the ship. And then um, Brick Shell Cases has an octagon, so there is no actual front. And it comes with this curved base and a really wide stand for the front. Brick Shell Cases also comes with a secondary straight up uh, stem so that you can have the set displayed straight up and down versus like at a curve, which I do like the option for that. I also like the fact that since there's no front, um, you can display it in any direction and you don't have to worry about, you know, displaying minifigures versus tricked out bricks. There is a front. So, I mean, it's just kind of empty if you don't have any minifigures to display with it. Um, but in terms of the connecting points here, this one has less. So it tends to get stuck less on the ship itself. Like when you're pulling it off, this one will pull off uh, plates if they fit perfectly. But 
I do find that this one is much easier to fit on ships than this one here. Um, I'll show you an example. So they make this stand in larger sizes and it's really wide um, and getting it to fit on something like an X-Wing is just not going to work. You'd have to display it down here, um, which I guess is fine. It's just going to be really low. Actually, I say that I can't even get it on, um, but it's not going to work up here. And so to me, that's disappointing. Whereas tricked out bricks, it's since it's thinner or narrower, I'll say um, it can make multiple different connections. Um, at any particular point. And I will say both of them are very sturdy feeling and very quality feeling. So it's not a direct competition on what product feels cheaper. Just some of them are gonna meet your display needs better. Um, here, since this is so wide, it fits on the Yoda's interceptor. So I think that that is actually gonna limit you on the type of sets that you can fit on this stand if this base is going to be so wide. Um, that is just my personal preference. It also does bother me slightly that since it's an octagon, it like isn't, I guess that's straightforward. Um, versus tricked up bricks is very straight, but you can display them very close together. I do think that that is pretty cool there. Um, overall, it's obviously going to be a matter of opinion. I went with this smaller stand by Brick Shell Cases because I didn't think that Tricked Out Bricks had a display solution that was this low. That was the quality of their bigger stands. And then I I go with Brick Shell Cases for their minifigure displays because I think that they're superior in that. Not that Tricked Out Bricks is worse, they just have fewer offerings. Um, and so for me, at the end of the day, the brick shell cases display is nice. I mean, I actually bought two of them um, because I want that height specifically, but in terms of what I'm going to continue buying for my spaceships, it's going to be tricked out bricks for most of my display solutions in that regard. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this video um, informative to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one.